Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about applying inks to the mat. This is a standard water-based distress ink and we're going to apply it to the surface of the mat and not the blending tool. You do not want to apply it to the blending tool because if you apply it to the tool, you get thick spots and thin spots of ink on the sponge. We're going to apply the ink to the surface and rub it in nice and smoothly. That ink's going on very, very smooth. It isn't beading, which is quite remarkable in itself. We're going to take that blending tool and apply that ink into the surface of the mat. We've now blushed that ink into the surface. It's created three things, a nice smooth ink distribution to the tool. It's also applied the ink to the surface of the splodge away mat and pushes the ink into splodge away's micro ink wells. We're now going to take the card. I'm left handed. If you're right handed, you would pop it on the other side. We're going to pick up our tool and we're going to place it on the mat and instead of tilting it forward, we're going to tilt it slightly back. I would say about 80 degrees. We then take it in clockwise motion or anti-clockwise, whichever one you'd prefer. Nice and fast, nice and smooth. Don't start on your paper and don't stop on your paper. If we keep working it over and over, Splodge Away governs the amount of ink that's needed to apply the smoothest blend possible. You'll notice that the edge of the project is taking up ink quicker than the inner part of the project which allows a very, very smooth blend.